Welcome to Flash Tutorial 28, Drag and Rotate. This is a tutorial for beginners, meaning I'll do a fair amount of explanation. And what we're going to do is make a, a, a ball, a movie clip, and we're going to be able to, um, when the programs run, as we rotate the mouse, the, the movie clip ball will rotate. We're going to start by opening new FLA. Select an action script 3 and call this layer ball, B A L L. Over here, there's something called a rectangle tool. If you're seeing a rectangle, click on this little corner. If you're seeing an oval, just click on the oval. But click on the corner. I want to see the oval tool. This is called the stroke, it's the outside. I want that to be black. This is the inside. I want that to be any color other than black. I'm going to make it red. Holding the shift down, dragging the mouse, and I make a ball. Pick up the selection tool, highlight it. Get those crosshairs, right click, convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected in this drop down menu. Make sure we have this center registration and call this ball, B A L L, shift underscore M C. Copy that name. We want to paste that in the properties panel for the ball movie clip for instance name. Paste it in. And I'm going to, right now I'm on scene one. I'm going to double click on this ball. That's put me inside the ball movie clip we just made. Uh, I'm going to pick up some, right here there's something called a straight line tool. Click that. And right here, almost directly above that just put a little line here that's just for us to keep track of this to make sure we can see that it's turning go back to scene one lock that layer insert a layer call it action script as and open the actions select frame one and open the actions panel if you don't have the actions panel docked here go up to window and click action and that will open up now, here we're going to do a whole lot of typing. Type, 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 type. I'll go through it and then I'll show you how it works. We're going to start off with an event listener. Uh, it's a stage event listener. This is what's going to keep track of the most moving. Stage, S T A G E, small s, that turns blue. Period. Add event listener, small a, capital E, capital L, that turns blue. Open bracket. It's a mouse event, mouse event, capital M, capital E, that turns blue, period. Mouse underscore move, all uppercase capital letters, comma, that, that also turns blue, comma. I'm calling this function follow mouse, F-O-L-L-O-W-M-O-U-S-E, capital F, capital M, close bracket, semicolon. You can put any name you want in here as long as it doesn't change colors. If it changes colors, then it's a reserved word. Function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, turns purple. Copy this word, follow mouse, paste it in. This is actually calling the function up. Open bracket, event, E-V-E-N-T, small e, turns blue, colon. Copy mouse event, paste it in, capital M, capital E. Close bracket, colon, void, void and function are the same color. This is an open curly bracket for the function. As soon as you start typing something, you'll get this closed curly bracket. If not, you have to put it in. I'm starting off with two forward slashes, and that just means whatever you see after them is just a comment and not going to be part of the program. And I'm saying this finds out the coordinates, find out the coordinates to find out the angle. This is going to determine the distance between where the mouse is and the ball on its x and y coordinates so we can determine by using uh, trigonometry, the angle that the ball should be on. And when, when Flash does this, it comes up with an answer in rads, radians. So let's see how we're going to do that. VAR means I'm going to make a variable. I'm calling it side Y. So like X, Y, and Z on the triangle. So side, capital S, capital Y, side wide, colon, number, capital N-U-M-B-E-R. As you start to type this in, you'll get a drop-down menu 
When you see the word number, you can press enter or you can write the word number out. It should turn blue. Equals mouse wide. Mouse Y. Small M capital Y. Subtract negative. Subtract ball underscore MC period Y. That's that movie clip we just made. Ball underscore MC period small Y. That's the Y coordinate of the ball. Semicolon. So what this side Y is going to be is the Y on our, our triangle for our trig. And it's the difference between where the ball is and where the mouse is. Copy that. Paste it in. Change this capital Y to a capital X. Change this capital Y to a capital X. And change this small Y to a small X. Two forward slashes. Find out the angle. Well, we're actually finding out the radians. The radians. Bar, another variable, rad, R-A-D as in radians, capital R, colon, number, same as above, equals, and here's how you find it, math, period, A-10-2. I tried different uh, functions, uh, trig functions, the A-10-2 works, capital M and small a, period in between them, that's all blue, so I take that A-10, and it's the ratio of those two sides. So open bracket, side y, which was this variable, comma, side x, which is this variable, close bracket, semicolon. So that's going to give us our, actually our angle in, in radians. I want to turn it to degrees, so I make another variable. And it's, again, two forward slashes, convert degrees from radians, I should have. Okay, it should be from radians. There, convert two degrees from radians. So now, variable, degrees, capital D-E-G, colon, number, same as above, equals rads, that's this variable here, multiply, that's the asterisk, the upper case of the number eight, 180 divided by pi. And to do that with uh, flash, it's 180 divided by math, period, capital P, capital I, and a capital M on math. That will turn blue if it's spelt right. Semicolon. And finally, two forward slashes. This is what actually rotates the ball in degrees. Ball underscore MC, that's the movie clip, period, rotation. R-O-T-A-T-I-O-N, no capitals, turns blue, equals degrees, this variable here, with a semicolon, and of course, there's a closed curly bracket. Pretty simple. So there I go. Okay. I hope you learned something from this short tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.